Hello everyone, and a slight change of format to make these videos more compact. Let's look at Uda's May 2021, with the focus on five key moments which shaped his tournament. We'll start with this one on Day 5. Many of you recall how he missed out on the March 2nd Division title by defaulting to eventual winner Haku Yozan. In the belief he'd never again come so close to the crown, he spent many a moment picturing what might have happened had he turned up. That element of his past could not be undone, but a degree of mental healing could be achieved by beating Hakuyozan at the earliest chance. And here... He did just that, and more efficiently than on their last meeting in the winter. Back then he took the circuitous route, twice dancing to the right before finding the winning grip. But here, he dove straight for the left leg to take it off the ground. Uda's bout the next day was just as, if not more, important, involving as it did, his nemesis Daisho Maru. Their two most recent fights had seen Uda struggle with strategy, telegraphing a lame sidestep in November, while crouching into thrusting peril in January. Dominated at the Tachiai, Uda thus shifted the battleground from the center to the edge of the ring. And with that result, Daisho Maru had stooped before, and this time Uda was primed to punish with a raking right on the man's nape. A tremendous mental boost. As the prospect of a Division 1 return enlarged, doubt surfaced over whether he really belonged there after four years away. A chance for him to ease those doubts was presented on Day 8, when he guested on the top flight card, in this match with Kaisei. Sports psychology permeates present-day sumo, making Uda not alone in visualizing outcomes. Here, the noisier crowd and long-missed feel of prize envelopes were just as vital as Kaisei's flesh and belt in creating more accurate visions of the challenge to come. The win also took him to 7-1, and one, his only loss at that point coming in an epic bout, full of parries and standoffs, with Yutakayama which I really wish I'd filmed. The technical wizard wobbled after that, losing two of his next four, hence my choice of this match on day 12 as another key moment. Chiono Umi, hell-bent on keeping his salary for his new bride, indeed put him through the mangle. And that very hard-fought win was the final turning point, for he would not lose again. 
For long periods that day was Uda frustrated, unable to push inside for a leg grab against a man determined to keep him at arm's length and fashion a pull. But his heavily bandaged legs proudly displayed their recovery, holding firm even when his neck was slapped forward, keeping him up for just long enough in acrobatic fashion. Those same legs would later be praised for tracking Mitoryu's backward movements on day 14 to help up the pressure on leader Chiono O ahead of his crucial bout. Which brings me nicely to Uda's final key moment, sadly not on film as it played out behind closed doors, when the man's rapid footwork helped him onto the lucky bale so he could scoop Chiono O while falling backwards. Eagle-eyed referee Kimura Ginjiro again called things correctly, awarding Uda the vital win which would separate the two men after 15 bouts. Arguably the most telling event of the lot. Uda does not usually include emoji in his mails, but he did on day 15, as the emotion of becoming champion poured out. He shed similar tears when beating Yokozuna Haruma Fuji for his only gold star four years ago in Nagoya, the city to which he heads next as a fully reconfirmed member of Division 1. The days on which he cries between the gold screen and interview mic might even be coming back. Yeah. 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 